Hi guys, so this is going to be my what's in my baby's hospital bag twin edition. That's a mouthful. Um, I've seen quite a few of these and I found them so helpful um, when, we were, when we were packing our hospital bag. So I wanted to have my input and do the same just in case there was a few things that people had missed or... Um, not considered um but more so because i'm having an elective c-section so the things that i'm packing for the babies is a bit different to what you would pack if you were having a natural birth um because obviously i have to consider that i might be in there for a few more days um and things like that so I'm just going to get started because there is quite a lot. We are taking a hand luggage size suitcase um, and I'm taking also one of them for myself and my partner. It seems a bit overkill but when you're having twins there is so much that you have to take and when you add on the fact of having a c-section where you could be in there for multiple days it all gets a whole lot worse. <laughs> so it's a lot of stuff. But I feel like I'd rather be over prepared than under prepared. So, it's down here. So I'm going to have to keep reaching down here to get it out. So we're taking two cellular blankets. Um, we've got a grey one and a mint green one. At the moment the UK is in a heat wave, which is typical. I mean, who decides to get pregnant the year that we have a heat wave? But there you go. So, um, we don't need thick blankets, these will be good because like, you can fold them and layer them up. Um, so yeah, one each of them, and they're in a different colour so we know who's who if they do end up looking the same. Um, then we have, I put them all in bags with little labels on of what's inside. I mean if that's not organised I don't know what is. Um, so in here I've got four tiny baby vests um, and two newborn vests because I'm in a bit of a predicament. I had a scan two weeks ago and twin one was four pounds three ounces I think and twin two was almost five pounds um, and that was two weeks ago so they have so from then till when I deliver is a little over four weeks. So it, there's a big potential that twin two is going to be a six pound baby. So whether he fits in the tiny baby stuff, I don't know. Um, so I've had to consider all options here. Um, so yeah, we've got some vests. Then we have... Um, six tiny baby sleep suits um which are so diddy it's unbelievable how small they are to think that they're going to be that small and a tiny baby is up to five pounds so 20 might not actually fit into these um but we'll see if he doesn't it's not a problem we have so much newborn stuff Then in this bag I have um, two hats, they're what I'm going to take down to theatre with me um, because I have to take two hats and two nappies down to theatre which they put on them straight away. Um, so we've got some scratch mitts and some socks. Then we have their coming home sleep suits which these are from Next and they say welcome home on them which is why we're using them to take them home in um, and born in 2018 they're so cute but they're newborn size so they might bury one of them and fit the other <laughs> who knows and then we have two knitted cardigans um, that Matthew's mum's friend did for us um, so these are just in case um, there is a bit of a breeze when we leave so they can have that extra layer because as much as we've had a heat wave today it's actually raining 
so you just don't know what it's going to be like in England. <laughs> also, all of this stuff is already been washed as well. Um, and then in here, I've got a load of muslins. Um, because apparently, I mean, I don't know, because I'm a first time mum, but apparently these are a lifesaver, so I had to put them in. And now, in here, I'm going to have to do this. They each have their own little personalised bag, which inside has a hat with their name on and a comforter with their name on. And it sounds so sad, but these are what we're going to use to take the announcement photos um, when they arrive so that we can announce their names um, and all that jazz. So I've got two of them. And then um, some bibs, quite a few bibs, they're all just plain white. Not that they will be for long. Now, this is the bit we've struggled the most. Our hospital does not allow you to take formula in because there are no facilities for making bottles, um, which is just ridiculous. But yeah, so we've had to buy shed loads of ready-made um, Aptamil bottles that come with the ready sterilised teats. Um, now these are not cheap and when you're feeding twins it's definitely not cheap. <laughs> so that's slightly annoying. We've got three boxes of these which they have six bottles in and it's designed to feed one baby for 24 hours. So we've got a day and a half <laughs> worth of feeds um, so to add to that we then bought the ready made in the bigger versions um, which leads me on to this this is a Tommy Tippy one bottle steriliser cold water so what we're planning to do is sterilise some bottles ourselves in this if needs be if I'm in there for a few days um, and put that and put this milk into the divided into these bottles um, because I can't justify buying any more of them Aptamil ready made boxes when they're about eight quid and you can get a full tub of formula for that um, so yeah, we've got a one bottle cold water steriliser and some Milton tablets for this. So we do have a brush for bottle cleaning whilst we're there, if we have to. Um, and we have four of these man bottles. Now these are self sterilising, which would be great, but I don't actually think that there's a microwave there either at the hospital. So that's annoying, otherwise we could have just literally put them into the microwave um, and that would have been a lot easier. But they're the bottles that we'll be using for the for this milk. And then of course nappies, we've got two packs of nappies. We've got these Nort ones which are for up to £5 um, and then these standard newborn ones. Um, which go up to £11 because we just don't know how big they're going to be and um, I don't want nappies to and if we do have like a tiny baby I don't want the nappies to drown them and then be in a situation where we've got like poo explosions everywhere and all the rest Um got some wipes um, nappy sacks and some um, nappy cream. I doubt that we'll need this. I've got cotton wool as well so that I can use cotton wool and water because um, I don't think it's necessary to use a wipe every single time especially if it's just a wee. Um, water and cotton wool should do the trick. And that is everything. So yeah that's everything that is in our twin babies hospital bag. <laughs> Um, obviously as well I'll, I'll, we'll take my notes in um, these man bottles I've got dummies in 
So there's, there's they've got a, um, a dummy each and a spare each. Um, yeah, that's everything. And of course the car seats. Um, but we're not going to bring them until the day that they need to, that they um, will be coming home. I hope this helps. Or maybe it's just made it a whole lot worse for you because you're thinking, oh my god, I've got so much stuff to take. But yeah, <laughs> um, I'm just praying that we don't get there and then we have a huge six, seven pound baby and it doesn't fit into the tiny baby stuff that we've bought. But if they don't, it's not a problem. I will just leave the tiny baby stuff there. I'll just donate it. Um, and then Matthew can always come back and get all of the newborn stuff. It's in this drawer. It's absolutely full. I'm now going to film what's in my hospital bag. So yeah, that's everything. I've now got to put this all back in. Oh my god. <laughs> Thanks for watching and I'll see you soon with another video.